Hello again, whiskey friends. Welcome to a very special Whiskey Wednesday. Getting to celebrate 2,000 whiskey friends that have come by to hang out and hit that button with us. You know, hang out, enjoy the content, have a drink, look at a review, leave a comment, leave a like. Man, that is a, it's a big number. It starts adding up over time. Definitely not in the place where I thought we would be just 16, 18 months into this, however it is. But it has been quite the ride, and we are looking forward to the ride the rest of the year with so much more planned, but we'll get into that as we go. So thank you for joining today, everybody. Let's kick off the show. Well, without further ado, let me give this guy a proper introduction because I feel like I have failed the last two weeks introducing Darrell properly, but Darrell, the Whiskey Saint, and the 2023 Blendageddon Champion, maybe you're the 2024 Blendageddon Champion, I still messed it up. Ah, I'll get it properly next time. Darrell. <laughs> You're terrible. Is it 2023 or 2024? Now I just totally confused myself. I should have thought about this before. It's like it's the 2023 season. It's like the Super Bowl. They always play the year after, but you know, you're crowned for the year prior. <laughs> All right. 2023 champion. Yeah. But cheers, everybody. Man, it's gonna be fun. 2000 subs, man. Like I started this, like you said, way 18 months ago, not really knowing where we'll be in a sense right just wanted to have some fun and hang out with all these crazy fun people and it's been a blast you know i wish kelsey was here should be here pretty soon but i know he'll literally reiterate, uh, reiterate i can't even talk today <laughs> the same things you know everybody's great man this community is great and it's just been a blast literally from start to to now no complaints on my end <clears throat> Why don't we say hi to some people here? We've got a uh, forty people in here so far. Okay, let me scroll up. Let me see. We got Norseman in here. How's my voice coming? Is it? Does it seem low? It sounds no, all right to me. But everyone okay. in chat, let us know. Let us know how he's coming across. But it sounds fine in my ears. Yeah, because I think I accidentally like changed the setting, and I just don't know how it's coming across. But if it's good, it's good. You guys, let me know. Who else is in here? We got Brian. Cheers to you, Slapshot. Sugar Kitty's in here as well. Tony Bag of Donuts. Congratulations, Whiskey Friends. Here's to 5K and beyond. Sorry I can't be here live, but I have a group call at 7 for my upcoming trip to Ireland. So Ooh, much. look at that. Have nice. fun, Tony. That's yeah, awesome. That should be a blast. I've only been there once. I didn't spend enough time. <laughs> Mark B, cheers and congratulations to 2K, my whiskey friends. Mark, I was just talking about you, buddy. Um, we're going to reach out. I need to send you over my spreadsheet of bottles so you can choose a bottle because you won that, I think, maybe two weeks ago. You're yeah. the only person I haven't sent something out to to catch me up. Christine Basco, cheers, friends. Congratulations, Shents on 2K. Thank you, Christine. Cheers to you. Tim Corney's in the house. Mr. Ethan, Drifting Dramps. Congrats Man. on 2 million. I'm not even going to say 2,000 subs. 2 million. That's, that's, that's worse than Dan's math. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Where y'all is in here. Cheers, Whiskey Friends. Congratulations. 2,000 subs. Thanks, buddy. Old Fashioned Ways. I'm not sure if I've seen this name, but cheers to you. Thank you for being here. Liz B. Congrats on 2K. Cheers. Sipping on Prideful Goat Rye finished in rum. Ooh. Prideful Goat, that's MGP, I believe, right? Uh, Pretty sure it's MGP. You know, I have one that I never opened up. Mm. But the 
it's the real talk guys that did do that. That's interesting. I don't know if I've had a have I had a finished MGP rye? Oh uh, well, if I'm talking toasted, I guess, but um outside of toasted, I'm not sure if I had one. My partner in crime, Major Zero. What's up, buddy? Congrats on 2K. I'll be moving tonight, but I'll have you guys on the background. Hit that like. Yes, sir. And thank you for the $5, man. You are in it to win it. We'll talk about what we're going to be giving away shortly. Russell's in here. Cheers, whiskey friends. Congrats on the 2K. Our guy, Todd Ritter, executive producer. Cheers to you, buddy. I'm going to be pouring and your... George C. Stag today, too. To make sure I give Todd his due, thank you, Todd, for setting up that awesome conversation we had with Hard Truth last night. That was all set up by the executive producer. And, man, that was, that was a good time. Look at this guy. Let's let's bring him in here. What is he doing? This Dude, guy. Keep are your eyes you on the road. Just listen. <laughs> are you Bourbon? Who are you? That's funny. I just wanted to be like Bourbon. You know, so I'm uh, I'm on my way to uh, log in on the computer, but I had a retirement party that I could not miss. My boss's retirement party, so I'm sorry that I'm late, but got a little emotional, teary, and I had to get out of there. So, uh, <laughs> but I'm on my way, and I'll log in on the computer. But I wanted to be a part and see what's going on as I'm on my way. So, oh man, nice. All right. Well, you be safe, and it goes without saying, but you are not allowed to join in on any of the whiskey wheel spins. So you get... <laughs> so let's see. GT Mustang. Cheers to you. Stacy. Congrats on 2,000 subs. Full Leaf Whiskey. Cheers to you. Doug H is in the house. We got Miss Turk, Katie. Herself, Katie. cheers to you. Glad you're here. JG's in the house. He's always in the house. Whiskey cheers. Andrew, what's up, buddy? Cheers to you, sir. And I got one of your pours on the side of me, too. So I'm going to be pouring some good stuff. It's a Lucky 7 that I tasted with him a couple weeks ago. That was Ooh. pretty killer. A proprietor? Yeah, another 14 year. Uh, this was a liquor junction pick, I believe it was. High 130s or 130 something, but it was it was fantastic. Wait a second here. I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted by something. I don't know where it came in. I lost it. Look at the starred real quick, Darrell. Look at what? Where is that one? Look at the stars. The starred comments. Um. Man. Sorry, I got distracted by. Uh, Todd here, our executive producer. Todd, thank you so, so much. That is, that's crazy. We really appreciate it, buddy. I only seen one starred comment, which looked like it was Major Zero's earlier. Am I missing something? Oh, uh, I guess it not. just popped up. But thank you, Todd, for the $50 super chat there. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll circle back around in the royalty checks. You know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who else. Gandy Road. I see you in here. Try to get through this. Canadian Chris, cheers to you. I think that's actually a new name in here for us as well, or for me at least. If you have been in here, forgive me if I didn't see your name earlier, but glad you're here now. Cheers. Whiskey BS, cheers to you. Joe Dickinson is here. Shauna Marie D is here. Cheers to you. Who else, who else? Miss Dana Wack herself. Good evening, all. Congrats on hitting 2,000. Here we go. David Smith. Mr. Great Shot. Ben Drammons here. Cottle Carroll's in here. I think we said Top Dog. He was probably the first one in here earlier. I remember seeing a comment five hours ago, but cheers to you if I didn't say it already. <laughs> Our man Richie Z. Cheers and congrats. Thank you, buddy. See Kelsey Diamond here, Miss Adriana. I haven't seen you in a bit. Hope all is well. Thank you for being here. Who else is here? Peter B. Cheers to you, sir. Um, oh, H is in the house. 
I see you, Michael Bortner. God, this this list just goes on and on. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it does. You know, that's. I think that was the thing that confused me is we haven't even remotely caught up to comments. I'm trying to see. Uh, any new names? Any new names? Scrolling, scrolling. Gandy Road. I don't know if I thanked you for the five, but you're in it to win it. Congrats on two K. Right. Enjoy the stream. Sipping on, Sipping on new riff. Hey, let yeah. me know what you let me know what you think about that new riff. Now, did he win this from you? Uh, no, he must have gone to the distillery and, oh, and okay. gotten it here. I actually, got to go get over there tomorrow and grab grab more. I've gotten more. some text messages. <laughs> you know, I raved about it, and then seems like no one believed me. And then Jason drops his video. Then all of a sudden, I get all these text messages like, "Hey, this <laughs> it's like I see how it is." Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I'm trying to catch up here. Mark B is always in it. I'm in for two. Please give one to Richie Z and one to Shauna Marie D. All right, to spread the love. Thank Thanks, buddy. That's Appreciate awesome. you. Uh, let's see. I think that maybe I'm not seeing any new names. Oh, Bourbon School. I don't think I seen you earlier. Cheers to you. TJ Jarrett is here. The Bourbon Jerk is here as well. Cheers to you all. Um, uh, Cali Drams. Cheers to you, buddy. And I think that is it for now. For now. It looks like we're caught up. <clears throat> well, we're going over uh, the super chats here next. Thank you, everybody, for, for getting in there. Kelsey, you keep me posted on what you're thinking for yours. Okay. I, I'm going to give away a bottle. Actually, I'm going to give away two bottles. Um, for super chat, I'm gonna give uh, a pair of J. Henry bourbons. One is the LE from this past year that Nancy did, and then one's a fall release. Both are killer bottles, so I'm gonna be giving that okay. pair of bottles away. Uh, when you say give it away, two different people. Sure, we'll do two different people. Yep, that way more people can win. All right. Nice. And I will uh, jump back on when I get my computer. I just got to the – my best friend's birdie, birthday party is also tonight, so oh, I'm going to be streaming that, from there. That explains why Jason – why Jason said <laughs> you at Sam's, Kelsey. I was like, there's Sam's something birthday going on there. Is, Sam's birthday there. is today, so I have to right. hire so <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll log back in in just a couple minutes. See you guys in a couple minutes. All right, buddy. All right. All right, Darrell, why don't you go over yours, then I'll get this message finished. Yeah, so guys, I'll be giving away a bottle as well. Um, <laughs> Peter B. was actually talking about this bottle. I'm not sure if you picked it up yet, but it's a it's another copper and cast. Like, they've been on my radar since the pick I helped. Um, like, I've had their products before, but they're progressively getting better and older. But this is a seven-year. It comes in a nice, fancy box, which I can't really open all the way, but it's really, really nice, and it's sturdy. But it's a seven-year MGP bourbon finished in a toasted oak and a rum cask. So that will go to one of our Super Chat winners at the end of the night. Right. And it's a good bottle. It's not a bad one. I'm not giving it away because I don't like it. <laughs> cheers to Cheech. Cheers to JM. And cheers to Cali Drams. Thank you for being in here, everybody. I think we're almost caught up there. I think I caught some unique names. Did you highlight? I don't know if we highlighted this one yet. Doug H. Nope. Thank you so and, much, uh, buddy. I missed that actually. Top Dog just got in as well. Another 20. Well, not another 20, what? but 20 Mr. on his end. Sorry. There we go. Thank you, Top All Dog. Right. You are in it to win it. So the other thing we have going on tonight. So I'll show what the epic whiskey wheel is in just a moment because I've also got a special giveaway that I haven't announced yet. So I got a special surprise here that'll give everybody a preview on it. But I also revamped the physical whiskey wheel that tells us what to drink. It is time to give this thing its first spin. I haven't even spun it yet, nor did I allow my kids to spin it. Um, it is the first time that this has been spun. So I'm going to zoom in here. So hold on, Darrell, I'm going to solo. No, that's fine. All right. So we got the new revamp whiskey wheel and asked for category suggestions from all of our whiskey friends in Patreon. 
they gave some great ideas. So this is now the wheel for essentially the rest of 2024. The other one being permanently retired, but that treated us well for, geez, a year and a half. So let's give this thing a spin. You can see some of the categories here, you know, made in not tucky. If you know, you know, blend me up buttercup. We got some inventive names on here. Get multi the ride of your life. When we get to that, you get to interpret it however you want to interpret it or whatever pour fits it the best. But you have to abide by the wheel. So here we go. Let's see what we're drinking. Ooh, our first category. And you know what? Dusty Fitting. in the wind. There you go. Dusty in the wind. Kelsey, if you can still hear us, I'm sure you can catch up on that. Dusty in the wind. What are you going to pour on that? Darrell, you know, you, my dusty collection's not that extensive. What the? I think you've got really some. isn't either. Um, but I'm gonna pour a. I don't even know if it's really considered dusty. I have a 99, I think. Wild Turkey 101. That's kind of dusty, right? It's what 15 years old. Would that classify a 99 101. 99. That'll work. Todd gave us the definition once. I think yeah, 25 I, years works though. I do have like some super I think he said anything older like than Crown 20 years. Royal. All right. I well, I'm it's funny you say that. So I'm going to be drinking out of a Crown Royal bottle. This is probably one of the you know shadiest whiskeys I have on my shelf where somebody gifted oh, this to me. It's actually a <laughs> 1980 Ezra Brooks that they decanted and then poured into a uh Crown Royal bottle and then I you know, receive this in a hand delivery. And it's like, yeah, I'm sure I can drink that. It's been fine so far. <laughs> I switched up. I forgot I actually had this. I'm going to pour this instead. I think this one, and on the bottom of the glass, if that means anything, I think it's a 90. I'm not yep. sure. Todd would know if he's still in here. I think we picked him up at the same time. But this so is everyone... better. Nice. Everyone in chat, let us know what you are drinking along with as well as we go throughout the night and spin the wheel. With that in mind, if you don't have duckies, just pick the thing that fits the category the best. So what's the oldest thing you have? Not necessarily <laughs> of the age of the whiskey, but the age of the bottle. And go with that. So uh, let me... Cheers, well, cheers to you and everybody here. And I'll catch up on some super chats while we sit. Tim Cornet is in for four. Actually, he's in for two, and he wants to share two with Adriana. Nice. Good on you. Cheers, Tim. JG is in for two. Thanks, buddy. We got Keith T in here as well for another two or for two. Chill Will Rocco is in for four. Thank you, buddy. In it to win it. That you are, sir. Thank Thomas you, Snyder, he's in for four. Thank you, buddy. David Smith, he's in for four as well. Congrats again, you guys. Thanks, buddy. Uh, I think that is it for Super Chat. See if I see oh. any new names. There's Mojo. Up, What's Mojo. up, Mojo? I'm scrolling for new names. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Cheers, buddy. Oh, of course I see Mojo. I know. He got now. Duffy's. <laughs> you could pour yeah. one out. So we got 69 people in here. Oh, make that 70 if we count this guy. <laughs> What's up, guys? Finally made go. it to Sam's house. So All right. blinds in front of blinds. We're going to have some <laughs> epic pours in front of those blinds, man. You're representing uh, Hendo well. All right. All right. Well, Darrell, you can take care of chats there, and I'm going to uh, – I'm going to get my wheels here ready because I am going to do something a little on the crazy side. Gotcha. So GT Mustang, he's in four. I'm feeling lucky. I think it's luck I'm feeling. Good luck tonight. Oh. Kelsey, Mark first e. wheel spin was uh, Dusty's. Okay. Let's see. Brad Webb, cheers to you. Joe, the sample guy's in here as well. I have a Rye Infinity bottle I have not touched in probably six years. Jeez. Okay. There you go. Wow. There you go. Liz B, she's in for two. Congrats. Got to run. We'll try to join back later. 
Thanks for being here for the time you was, Liz. Cheech. Hope you're feeling better or on the mend at least, buddy. But thank you for being here. Chief, uh, Cheech is in for two. Keep on growing with all our whiskey friends. We are trying. Bourbon Jerk. He's hey, in Tom. for as well. Great stream last night, too. That was awesome. He was uh, he was on there with my bourbon journey. I did see that. If I popped in for a bit, probably mid maybe midway through. But, um, yeah, it looks like we're caught up for now. Um, I'm gonna take another let's, sip of this. Let's do this. So I've got I we did this at our either our one year or the thousand subscribers. I can't remember the last time I pulled this gimmick out, but <laughs> just like any good gimmick, it's always good to pull it out again when it's time to celebrate. But for all those that help support us, we are going to have a free giveaway here for our patrons. Uh, let me share the right wheel because that is the not right wheel. I'll get to that one in just a moment. Uh, but I've got a few different whiskey wheels here. We are going to determine the winner of this first. So I'll randomize that a few times. Everyone has equal shot at this one. No one knows that I'm doing this. So congratulations and surprise to whoever wins this one. Ooh, all right, it's Adam. Oh, here's Adam. his name. I don't think it's ever popped up. Oh, no, that's his first. That's his first wheel spin. Nice. Congrats there. Very right, awesome. Adam. So Adam, I'll be getting with you, but let me show you what Adam is about to win. He is going to win four spins on the epic pour wheel. I will share that now. But with this wheel. Uh, I have put on about 20 different bottles that I classified as epic pours. That includes William LaRue Weller, George T. Stagg, Russell's 2002, Russell's 2003, Russell's 13, Old Forester Birthday Bourbon, Coy Hill, EHT Barrel Proof, a Straight from the Barrel Blantons, Kelvin 2 from Fourgate, Parker's Heavy Char Bourbon, Wild Turkey Revival, a Fourgate's Limited Edition, Smoke Wagon Desert Jewel, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, so I'll highlight some of these, but I'm going to spend this four times and Adam, you're going to get a flight of these and I'll let you choose whether you get it blind or labeled. So cheers to Adam. Let's see what Adam's going to get. All right. He's got the Ooh. four roses, 2019 LE. Nice. Bottle there. Oh, I already highlighted that one, but yep, Mark B's back in. What's he got? Oh, now? the Elijah Ooh. Craig Pirate Bottle. That is going to be batch 10 specifically. Epic. Epic. Yeah. It's probably the best bottle on the list. <laughs> that might be the best bottle on the list. Honestly, it's probably that between that and the WLW. Ah, Nictor's 10 Ooh. Bourbon. Okay. That one Ooh. is uh, either from 2018 or 2019. Last so one here. To complete the flight, we're going Ooh. high octane, the Jack nice. Daniels Koi Hill. So, Adam, I'll be in touch whether you want that labeled or blind, but that is the flight. Congratulations. Nice. Just click on this real quick. Ricardo Caro is in for four. Congratulations, guys. Well deserved. Next stop, 5K. We're trying to get there. We'll see when that happens, yeah. though. <laughs> Three, 3K three by the end of the year. We'll say that as a goal. How's that sound? Sounds good. 3K. What do we got? This is what, March? Yeah, we got some time, right? April, May, June, nine months. Or about yeah. eight and a half months. See if we can get there. Brad Webb, thank you for the super chat. Joel Cheers, Parrish. Brad. Congrats, guys. Love your scoring system and keep up the great content. The scoring system is kind of fun. You know, like we literally look back and like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if you're ever in there with me, Jeff, but I'm always messing around with it. Like, I probably leave the filters probably half the time instead of putting them back. But I'm always looking at what somebody ranked this or ranked that. Like, it, it's good just to have it visually. You know, I actually I need to get back into reviewing. I was looking when I dropped the video today. I was like, God, I only reviewed six bottles this year for 2024. I'm like, wait, what am I doing? But I haven't purchased anything either. You know what I mean? So yeah, maybe I can look at what I have that's worth reviewing that, you know, I've had already or not, that I have, but just never reviewed. May have to go that route. But yeah, I haven't really bought anything. Bourbon Bounty. Cheers to you. Had to jump on and say woohoo or woohoo. 
how you say Woo! yours. <laughs> I'll give it, I would give it a Ric Flair. Woo! There you go. <laughs> See, Mr. Franchi's in the house. Stuck at work, Here's but I have Gary. to pop in and say congrats. Thanks, buddy. Here's Gary. And I'm going to take another sip of this OGD. This thing is fantastic. Oh, yeah. So, Kelsey, what did you end up going with? I, I don't have any bottles. I'm in Sam's office, so I'm going to have to drink <laughs> that. <laughs> Send them a text. Tell them to bring you up something. Yeah. Jeez. There's some stuff down there. It's his I had a I Woodford. Got a I, had, I paid $25 for a double of Woodford Double Oak, so I'm feeling sick about having to pay that money, but. I love Double Oak. You guys knock on it, man. I, I like it. Oak. I like Double Oak. I, I just don't like paying thirty dollars for a double of it. Oh, that's always oh a, I thought you. I thought you said for a bottle. I was like, oh, that's oh, yeah. for for a double shot of what for yeah. Double Oak. Oh Jesus! Then no, yeah, that's crap. But I I love that whiskey. Oh. I, I I do wish it was cheaper though. Bottle wise, it's still like fifty bucks. Like I'll yeah. be happier around like thirty nine ninety nine for that. Look at Sam in here. So he, he can hear you. Bring him up something, Sam. Dude, Sam, happy birthday, <laughs> buddy. Dollar freaking oh, super geez. chat. Happy birthday, buddy. And thank you. Thank you. Bring this guy up a dusty pour, whatever you got that's old, or just a pour in general. <laughs> but happy birthday, buddy. Oh, we got another partner in crime over there. Is he at the house, too? <laughs> he, he definitely is. Himself. He's there, too. <laughs> Kelsey, we are coming in. Come upstairs. I don't know if I've seen Aaron on stream at all. I don't think I've had. Yeah, come maybe, on in, say hello. Maybe guys. we did a stream. Did we? Aaron might have been one of the first with Aaron. Like, did a... no, like this is. No. Years, I don't going think so. Three years back, I don't know if I popped on a stream with him for a blind flight. Um, that's like how I met you, Jeff. Like, I think he was one of the people that okay. I sent samples too because that's when he found out he lived near freaking trev <laughs> i believe that's dustin that you're thinking of oh it is that oh, it, yeah. that's exactly who it is yeah, yeah. aaron's right near you yeah Dustin's on the street from trev yeah. yeah 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 i hopped on with him but cheers aaron tim cornet i consider that one a dusty discontinued discovery four oh yeah that's the closest thing yeah hey there's aaron Hey, what's Cheers. up, buddy? Hey, you know these guys. <laughs> what's up? Sam in the background. There's the birthday boy. The birthday Cheers, boy. buddy. I'm double fisting. Oh, yeah. My cocktails? <laughs> He's got, He's got cocktails. Got what, is what is that? We just that? want to crash y'all's stream. What's up? <laughs> what's up, guys? What's up? Congrats on 2000. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Congrats, Cheers. Guys. I got to pop back up yeah, here, but... Right. Yeah, we still uh, we still do it uh, incessantly. No, Keep track of everything nonstop. <laughs> I mean, I've never showed this on screen before, but for those people that just can't get enough spreadsheets, you know, day to day, you know, here's the spreadsheet here. But it's every review that we've done since the first one was uh, January 19, 2023, and been logging every single bit of the information and all the scores since. <laughs> And I know that I uh, always talk about torturing Kelsey and Darrell with how much they have to input into my Google form. But no, frankly, I, they record everything. I mean, <laughs> is it a blend? Is it a single barrel? Let's What's the price? Yeah. All the scores, all the tasting notes. Um, we just have all of this documented till the till the end of time here. We'll just keep What's funny it. is the timestamp differences between my reviews and Jeff and Darrell's. Like mine are like four, four, four p.m., five p.m. Jeff and Darrell's are like at 1 midnight, 1 o'clock, <laughs> 2 o'clock in the morning. Dude, that's me. I shoot my videos at like midnight. There you there go. go. Ooh, oh, wild turkey, turkey there. 1855 reserve. Reserve. Boom. Is that basically what um, Rare Breed was before Rare Breed? Or no? Uh, you know, I don't know because this is 110 proof. I don't remember what Rare Breed is proof wise. Yeah, I know like the new ones are 116, but when they were in that old, like the older bottle and they varied on proofs, I believe. Yeah, I think you're right. <clears throat> but same shape bottle, right? Mm hmm. There so Katie says she, she saw my name a lot more. I know. She was scanning through that. I would get real nerdy and run a pivot table, but let's just uh, let's keep this PG in here. I think that's a bit too extreme for. Uh, tonight's stream 
Yeah, I noticed the same yesterday. I was looking, I was like, holy crap, there's like a spree from like the beginning of this year that you reviewed like 20 straight, you know, like all of January is like every two days you're reviewing stuff, but like you've you've gotten a lot of new stuff. Um, that's been my only like downfall. I haven't gotten new stuff, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do on my end. I'll just start reviewing, like I said, stuff that I have here that's worth reviewing, which is probably the route I'm gonna go. Um, but yeah, I looked and I was like, holy crap, Jeff's reviewed a ton. Like I was scrolling down and this is Jeff, 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 Darrell, Jeff, 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 Kelsey, Kelsey, Kelsey. I'm like, what the It's like, I got to catch up over here. Well, you've been doing those blinds, you know, the samples for a while. So yeah, I am going to be doing a follow-up video to this past Friday's while you travel, what bottles to look for. So I'm going to be doing the uncut, unfiltered wild turkey rare breed versus regular rare breed, which I think, you know, the both of those, the the uncut, unfiltered when you travel is pretty easy to find. Um, so that's it wait, should be fun. Is it the non-chill or is it, am I mistaken two different bottles? No, it's like a non, the, the, uh, the, the, ex, the travel the exclusive one, right? Free is, that's the one. Is non -chilled, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I just didn't want to make sure there was another one I wasn't missing. What did he say? This Friday, though, will be um, Jack Daniels. Sam found a 500 milliliter Jack Daniels rye at 107 proof, which I had never seen. It's called the Tennessee Traveler's. Oh, oh that well, bottle. You that, yeah, you sent us a picture of yeah. that. You so, sent that picture. I was like, what the heck is that thing you're showing? I've like, never seen it before. You're like, deliciousness. It. Has anyone seen this one? This is the one he's talking about here. Let me get out of there. There you go. It said bold and spicy, right? Yeah, yeah bold, and, bold and, spicy and spicy rye. 107 proof rye from Jack Daniels. Pretty interesting uh, bottle, too. And a fi 500 milliliter. I think he said that. Yeah, 500 yeah. milliliter. I always love it when people still send like pictures of bottles, and it's like, what is that? When did that one exist? <laughs> <Like, laughs> how is it I'm still learning new things? There's always new bottles. <clears throat> oh man. God, do I dive into Todd's George D. Stag or do I do a lot? Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, he's pulling him up. There you go. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Let us know in chat if you've heard of these before. Jack Daniels Bold and Spicy Rye. Tennessee Travelers on one side. And then the cool thing, I've never seen this on a Jack bottle before, but it gives you tasting notes. On the bottle inside of it. Ooh, there's Todd. Todd says it's delicious. Delicious, yeah. It is very, very Kelsey, good. Kelsey agrees with that one. Where was it from? Was it? It's not a distillery. He was, like, he was on a cruise, right? and he stopped like somewhere in uh, Cozumel or something like that, like those type of places, and this was on gotcha. a place to grab. So International release. Travel. Mm -hmm. Nice. And that's a good proof, though, right? Like, mm -hmm. I'd say a barrel proof rye, like, that's the only one that's over 100. Right. So I it's mean. like you see the regular rye is like 100, and then you see this one for 107, but I've never seen anything like that at that particular proof for Jack Daniels. So, whoa. What, we ready for another wheel spin? Let's sure. Do Let's it. do it. Let's do it. Why does that smell like that? So I just poured. I poured I the, I no, I poured the GTS. Oh, you poured Todd's GTS. Let me. I'm gonna pour it into this other Glen. Maybe the Glen's painted. That smells really weird. All right. Ah, oh, Kelsey's favorite that one. Beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up, Scotty. Is it Beam or Scott? Yes. Okay. Beam. beam. All right. Get a, a gym beam reference. pour. Beam me up, Scotty. I got to see what I got. Oh, man. Beam. Hmm. I got a bottle kill over there of beam. I was just talking about a beam. I guess I'll pull that one out. I think I'm going to go to Harden's Creek. Okay. Yeah. Something's there you go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with one that's on the whiskey wheel, actually. No, I'll go with one that's on the whiskey wheel. So. I added this one to the whiskey wheel. I haven't had it in ages. Yeah, that's funky. Something happened in that glass. That smells weird. Wow. Dig through here. 
dude, I took a, I took a, a whiff and I'm like, it's, it's. Oh, the 25th anniversary. Oh, Man, I haven't God, seen that one in forever. Bad. I know, right? I haven't pulled this one out in forever. This is this is on the whiskey epic uh, whiskey wheel. Though. That's the plan. What cracks me up about this one too? It's held into the box with glue that actually still works. All right. So let us oh, know in go. chat what you're oh, drinking so when it comes to uh, that whiskey wheel Z. pour. Some Jim Beam. Oh, there we go. Wait, is it full? Yeah, it's full. Call it down. Throw more the words. The the top is right there on the. There you go. There's where it's poured out of. Nice. I always wonder where the spout is whenever I see one of those decanters. Yeah. Like, where That's are they cool. hiding that thing? Are you really going to open that? Right. Yeah. He's really going to open that. Holy <laughs> oh, man. Is it just, what kind of beam is it? Or is it just, just like a regular beam? It's yeah. a decanted beam. So it's probably from oh, man, it smells fucking 1960, oh. I think. That's my kid at the door. Let me. Grab him really quick. Be right back. All right. That's got a Jim Beam single barrel in here. Look Travis, how dark that is. I highlighted this one, but thank you, buddy. That is pretty darn dark. How old are those typically? This was from the late 50s, early 60s. Holy Man. shit, that smells good. I do feel like they need to bring the decanters back. You know, now that mm -hmm. things are seemingly slowing down, it's time to bring back the gimmicks to bring oh, everybody man, back in. And I feel like some good, some good decanters will do it. You know, they haven't done it in so long. They got like 30, 40 years of history that they can play off of for the different decanter shapes. I would totally be into that. I don't have the space for it, but I would totally be into it. What's wild is... Uh... I found a bunch of these from a buddy of mine. Oh shit! And Ethan and Katie bought a whole train set from Beam, so they have a whole train set from Beam like that. But it's not signed. It's not signed like Jason's train. No, fuck your train. <laughs> Smell this. Yeah, he covered he covered both both bases there in one pour. Exactly. Oh, he, can't double stamp a triple stamp. Oh no, did I ignore Katie's? Go on back up. Ah, there we go. Give these to Gandhi Road. Ethan, Ethan wants to know who stole my facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> it was even weirder last week because it was down to the skin. So at least there's a little bit of stubble now. Man, when you jumped on last week, it just takes you that like split second to like re-recognize somebody. It's like, what? Who is this person here? Right. That's funny. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming in so far. The one thing I did want to make sure I gave a call out for. That way I don't forget later. We've got 79 people in here, but we do have a special event coming up in two weeks that I wanted to make sure to do a, uh, you know, a, a full announcement on here, but we are doing a blending challenge with Jason again. We did this with him last year where essentially we did the blending in our hour from eight to nine and then did a blind flight with all of our blends and elevated a winner during Jason's show. So if you want to follow along with that show that's happening on April 10th, the four bottles are going to be Evan Williams 1783, a Knob Creek nine-year small batch, specifically the 100 proof, the Old Forester Rye, the 100 proof, and then... Oh, I've lost Jack one. Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. Old, old Jack seven, Daniels, yeah. old number <laughs> seven. It will be like milliliters of that. I can see <laughs> that. Who, who put that one into the lineup, Kelsey? Hey, you got to mix it up, man. 
we'll see if we can really blend something uh to kind of hide that that guy yeah this this guy right here yeah, was we're the sitting there talking about what we're gonna man. blend with and he's like let's blend with jack daniels number seven like thanks Darrell. <laughs> sitting there always like nice 100 proofs we'll see what happens no let's put let's throw in some old number seven in there yeah. oh, that's funny gotta make it Damn, that beam water. is good dude I wish be, if beam tastes like this today, I'd drink it all the time. Dude, something's so, up with these glasses. To wrap to wrap that one up, you know, just um, apologies in advance to everybody that wants to blend along with us for having to buy another Jack Daniels number seven two. <laughs> if you don't have one on the shelf, yes, you're gonna go buy it there. Uh, blend along with us, though. That's the fun part about that particular event is getting to share the recipes with everybody, and then everybody gets to. Try along and see what they like. Are we uh, divulging what happens after that Wednesday yet, or will that be a lighter time in day? Ah, go for it. I think it's good now. So also that weekend, the three of us are meeting up in Indiana to do a pick from Backbone Bourbon. So we'll be uh, oh. doing a combined pick with Dusty Dan and um, is it Marcus? Is that right? Uh, Marcus isn't able to come, but Chris is going to be there then. Chris, from okay. Bourbon of the week. Okay. And then yeah. uh, Christopher David, the Turks. We're going to have we're going to have some yeah. good, good palettes with us there at Backbone. Um, even trying to find a way to get to Backbone maybe the week before, but that's a different story. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm going to pull that one off, but really appreciative to the opportunity there. The uh, <clears throat> but I mean. You actually see them here. I don't know if people recognize these, that these are backbone picks that are all behind me here. They have been there from the start of the channel. That goes three deep in each of those rows. I have been a fan of backbone since almost the beginning of my bourbon journey. So going there, getting to meet Nolan, doing a pick with backbone is like bucket list for me. Of all the things that we could have done, I'm like most excited about it's MGP, why wouldn't you? <laughs> and then I think also we're going to get to go down to Hard Truth that same weekend and hang out yes. with uh, Chris Brian and uh, Brian. Chris and Brian. Brian, my brain is not working. That's all so. right. Yeah, that's going to be fun because you you haven't been there yet, Kelsey. I haven't. That is beautiful and it's going to be hopefully some good weather hopefully there's like no rain or overcast but that place is really really nice man good food good people good whiskey like the whole grounds like they treat you like kings over there scott's in here now i've seen him pop up but yeah man we're on freaking atvs going through the woods and up a hill that i thought we were gonna <laughs> flip backwards on i'm like oh my god <laughs> dude but the but backbone pick did. will be available to all of our patrons so um, we will be having bottles up for sale for that. So make sure you mark your calendars. I don't know when we'll get the bottles back, but like I said, it's typically with Backbone. It's a little quicker turnaround than, you know, some of the other places because they already have the, you know, stuff ready to bottle. So no, that's going to be fun. Oh, and yeah. I think we need and then to only two picks instead of just yeah. one. So it's even better. That'll be part of the journey here, too, when it comes to the rest of uh, 2024. You know, it's just going to be setting up some more picks, having fun with it, bringing some good whiskey back to the community. I'm, yeah. I'm so excited about, you know, things that we're in discussions about in June. Uh, and then we'll see uh, what continues to happen from there. But I am so excited to get into a room, especially with you two, and politic the heck out of a my favorite pick, and then see what you guys think, and Dude, we'll have duke it out, you know. The spreadsheet Do some lines, get our spreadsheet <laughs> out. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna have to fill out the Google form on every single sample. See we which go sample through. scores the highest. Oh, that's the one. They, I'll have they to take uh, us I'll through have the Rick House. You got to stop with your phone, and, and <laughs> I was gonna say I'll have to download Excel for my phone. <laughs> oh man, that's I want all all's the data. Oh shoot! Oh man. What else are you guys looking forward to? You know, we've got now nine months left in the year. I feel like this is actually where the year starts now that the spring has come around. Yeah. I mean, I'm most excited about hanging out with you guys more. I think we're going to get to see each other more this year than we really ever have, to be honest, like in yeah. person. So yeah, that's always the best part for me. 
yeah, same here. Just meeting everybody, hanging out, and just putting faces to new names or, yeah, putting faces to names, right? Like, you do see a lot of the people, you know, on stream that you haven't met, but, you know, just meeting somebody for the first time in general is it's pretty fun and epic. So that's what I look forward to every every year, you know, just a couple different meetups if I can swing it, you know what I mean? And just meeting people from this great community, man. Like, you guys are awesome. It's Absolutely. Disgusting. We yeah. really appreciate everybody's support. It's been awesome. Um, you know, a lot of the times it, it it's what's interesting that you find out when you start doing stuff like this is that you start and you're all excited and it's an outlet. And then, you know, at times, if we let it, it can become something that's negative in our lives when it should be positive just because of our attitudes about what's going on. But this should be an outlet. And you guys are the reason why we do what we do and love doing it because, you know, I mean, generally we love hanging out with each other, but you guys make it worth the while of, of doing what we do. And hopefully you guys appreciate it. Um, but it's, it's really fun. It's a lot of fun. And when you have two guys that you love hanging out with, it makes it even better. So I second that and Jeff's chili. <laughs> and, and you get more. Oh, I gotta, I gotta plot that. Don't I, I gotta make some chili here in the next couple. Yeah. Weeks. I'm trying to persuade the Turks to bring some gumbo to, to Indiana. So we'll see if that look at look at happen. you trying to <laughs> politic for all the good eating here, dude. All the foods, oh. so good. Oh. Thanks, Uncorked. Uncorked. I don't know if we highlighted this earlier, so I'll highlight it again uh, if we did. But thank you very much, buddy. You're in it, and it's a oh, win. It. Toshi just put one in there too. Oh yeah, he did. Oh Let's Toshi, see. thank you, buddy. Cheers, Toshi. Thanks so much, buddy. Yeah, in it to win it, buddy. Join a late, long work day, but congrats, whiskey friends. Always enjoyable content with the live streams of videos. Cheers to continued success. Well, cheers to you, sir. Uh, cheers to you. Knob Creek. On that here. note, I think we need to cheers on a new on a new spin potentially. Kelsey, well, you can Jeff's... put that to the side and enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> While Jeff's pulling up the screen, I do want to call out in case they're in the chat or in the channel tonight. I believe his name was David Smith. Jeff, is that correct? Uh, yes. I don't think I saw David. Well, maybe I did see David. I did. David. Yes. Pretty sure. I think David, I, we I think need I your contact to us, please. Yes. David, reach out to me at a hello again, whiskey friends at gmail.com. Uh, I need you for last week or the week before. But yeah, yeah I've got everything us. ready to hand deliver Good call. something to you. So I just need the info, please. <laughs> Great call, yeah, I Kelsey. think that name was in here. I, I do remember. I think I did. I think well. I did see him. I'm, I'm now almost certain of it. Now that you yep. say it, he's like, "I'm here." There he is. There he is. Hello again, whiskey friends at gmail.com, David. And I will get that out as soon as possible. As you just send that in, and I'll make sure to hand deliver that to you. All right. Good call, Kelsey. Actually, Mark B. It may be easier if I just email you. Uh, Mark B. Are you still in here? If you are, I'm going to give you my email. I need you to shoot me a, a quick message <clears throat> if you are. That will simplify things so you don't have to go through Patreon and wait and get it over to me. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Get, get, in touch with, get in touch with Mark there. We'll get him square, too. Get, those, get that list to him. All right. Yeah. This is an exciting thing for me with this wheel because every time we spin it right now, it's the first time this has ever come up. <laughs> No duplicate. <clears throat> Ooh. What is an that? Over, purple or blue? Overseas blue? adventure. An overseas adventure. It's time for some Scotch or some Irish or some <laughs> Japanese. Semi. You know what? There is okay. actually something down here. I Man, can do that, Should Mark. I do that now? Let's see. I'm thinking about it. No, I'll save that one. I know. I'm going to get into the Scotch. Let's see. You're gonna pull, you're gonna pull a scotch out? I think so. I've already did the Irish because we're so close to to St. Patty's Day here. I could do a you know, Canadian technically doesn't even count for overseas, so yeah. I got some rum. <laughs> that technically counts. It's Barb yeah. Barbados, that's overseas. That, count. that um I do have scotch, but not. Man, you know what? I'm, 
I'll dive into one of the picks I did with the Mass and Journey Whiskey Club. I haven't even revisited them upon oh, cracking them, those rolling too. forks. So. I'm, I haven't had this in a while. I might regret it. I might not. You would, you both would love this. What's so that? So much. I'm going to get oh, into this Lagavulin yeah, 12 year here. I mean, come on. It's got a Phoenix on here. What could go wrong with that? Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, Not this is a uh, let's see combination of virgin oak cast and our smokiest reserves. Oh my gosh, I am sending you both a sample of this. You're gonna love it. Yeah, it's gonna get please don't, please don't re gift. <laughs> Secret guys, we're gonna turn off uh, super chats in about uh three minutes, so make sure you get your super chats in. It's uh about eight till. So make sure you guys get your super chats in if you want to be a part of that and win some bottles or samples or whatever else is yeah. down there on the bottom of the screen. It also doesn't seem like Jason is going live tonight. He also posted something about being out of town. So got that in mind for, for anyone that wants to piggyback on the back of this here. You know, Kelsey's got a birthday party uh, you get to is your overseas uh, overseas or one, one of the two overseas oh, look at that. Here, wrong. here's your wellers oh thank you hey look guys i'm a tater too hey <laughs> a little uh weller foolproof we got a weller foolproof picks yeah. still wrapped up in their uh cellophane there <laughs> Ooh, that's a... you can be a tater game. too <laughs> Oh, I think I got to go all the way up to the do top. Do a video here. about that. Ah, Mary Beth, cheers! Thanks for joining in. Um, all right, guys. Overseas, tequila or rum? Which one? Rum. <laughs> Not even a question. <laughs> Kelsey, that's <Bear's> awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, EJ. Getting there, getting there with that rum. Um, all right, rum it <laughs> Kelsey's is. Wax Kelsey's wax. Kelsey's wax. <laughs> There's all types of Kelsey funs going on. Oh my gosh, the smell of this thing is literally taking over the room. I'm actually waiting for Dana to start stomping to like put a cap on this thing because oh, yeah. it is drying your palate. It is potent. This is like the scene in Anchorman with Sex Panther. Like it is just. <laughs> the room. We'll I'm going to get a hose down outside with the power washer. Oh, gee. Ah, Tony made it at the end. Cheers, buddy. Nice. Cheers, Tony. Thanks, buddy. Ooh. Adam said he loved. Whoops, sorry. Yep, Adam said go. he loved that. Yeah, let's it huh? at the same time. Bruh. Yeah. Jeez I got this Louise. one uh, at a grocery store in Ohio. You know, it's always strange how you just like come across things randomly. I typically wouldn't spend this much on a scotch, but I don't know. Every once in a while, you come across something, especially something cast rank, loggable one, twelve year. I was too intrigued. Honestly, I was sold totally by the marketing. The Phoenix on it. I was like, I need that. I need that. That rum is throwing shelf. me off. What is it? I'm about to take a sip of this. See, Tater Dom came in here as well. I keep yep. posting them at All the right. same time as you do. <laughs> All right. You got it. You got it. I'll keep my hand off the wheel. Have you tried Cheers, this buddy. one? Cheers, buddy. I have not. Jamaican rum, Gregarian? Gregarious? Gregarious grump. Gregarious it's actually grump, no. pretty interesting. This is a 17 year. They do have a like a 13 and a 21 as well. There you go, Kelsey. <laughs> oh, man. Mm, that's good. Miss Franchi is in it. Hey, if my wife says if you hey, can't laugh at yourself, cheers. you're not you're not a very good person. So I can laugh with you guys. That's awesome. I love it. So what do we got here? Mark B's in again. One more for Richie Z, maybe. The yeah. A's I think he, Z, I so think he means Richie. Richie. Yeah, Richie and Zon uh, and Shauna each. And Shauna. Thanks, buddy. And Richie Z right after him. Congrats again to two gay and then, two guys. Okay, so one for Richie and one for Shauna. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Katie and Ethan, for keeping track tonight, especially with all of the additional names that get pulled in. Yeah. I will be posting pictures. I am hanging out with Trev and uh, getting to meet Shayla for the first time in person. So, Oh, Shayla's yeah. doing her world tour. Yeah, so I'm going to hang out with them nice. on Saturday at Trev's house. So She's fun to oh, be dude. around. I'm looking forward to it. It should be fun. Her and Bernie. How long's the drive from you to Trev? Two and a half hours. Oh, okay. So it's not too too close. 
<clears throat> but it's it's a, it's easy. We do it all the time, usually once a month. So, gotcha. Oh man. Um. Well, fellas, why don't you say we do some? Uh, I think we. What time did you say to call at it, uh, Kelsey? Eight fifty-five. Yeah. So said, pretty much right now. Yep. Not, all right. Thank you so much, everybody, for the contributions here tonight, helping us celebrate two thousand subscribers and these milestones. Man, there's a bunch of other milestones that the app keeps pushing me to. I guess I'll highlight that now. I think it was uh, a 20,000 watch hours, 250,000 views. We've hit like a quarter million views. It it sounds more impressive to me when I say quarter million than 250,000. I don't know. Um, (laughs) But yeah, it's it's, all those metrics keep adding up and they just keep pushing alerts. Uh, But thank you, everybody, for being here, being here for the ride that, We've been on here for the last 18 months. It has been a blast, and it has been a blast meeting everybody, drinking with everybody, cheers and everybody. I mean, each and every week. It does seem like our circle gets bigger and bigger and bigger and kind of just more fun and more fun and more fun. Uh, Heck yeah. So we will do the giveaways at first, and then I think we do one last whiskey wheel, and then we can send people on their way. Once again, whoever's doing it, keep an eye on the chat but jason is not going live tonight so there is a yep. opening after this we will feed it to you the best we can Ooh, andrew good timing andrew is in <coughs> so let's do the uh wheel spin here uh ethan and katie you probably already have it in the inbox i will make sure that i get the entirety of the link but add uh andrew on there if you can here you know label everything i got but as we get that into uh let's uh next week we are going to have some good new whiskey friends in there from uh baker drinks so we'll have troy and laura we're gonna reciprocate we got to hang out with them earlier in the month Darrell is putting together something for us next week <laughs> We'll see what Darrell has in mind. But there is a little preview of next week as well. Excuse me. All right. And David reached out. David, thank you. I got your thing. All right. Oh, his info, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So as soon as Katie and Ethan push that over, I will... uh, get to the giveaways here so to recap what we'll be giving away we got an epic wheel spin so i'll be going over that we did a little preview of that at the beginning of the show congratulations to adam on the win there and then Darrell is going with a copper and cask bottle kelsey is giving away two j henry's and then the turks also threw in a 25 dollars gift card to their wonderful coffee so you guys have not tried their coffee you're missing out, I'm telling you. Um, so good. Perfect. All right. I got the link. Let's do the thing. Do it. Spin it up. All right. Let me share screen. Damn, that's good. Wow. All right. Thank you so, so much, everybody. They've even randomized this thing for me. I can tell. I am still going to randomize it anyway. <laughs> uh, Darrell, how many times should I randomize it? None. 1,000. How about that? Oh, you're Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here for four hours. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> All right. Let's do the first one. Hey, Sam came to the top of the list. That was, there you go. That was fate right there. Uh, Everybody, we'll do the uh, epic wheel spin first. Okay. And this is for what? Sorry. For the your epic spin? Wheel spin? The epic wheel spin. The epic pour. Cheers. Ooh. Oh. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Let's All see right. what pours. He's going to need some pours, too, after his weekend. So let's see. All right. Let's see. Man, Cheech, let's see what you get here. <clears throat> All right. I think it's this one. I don't all right. even know if he was in here same, early to see all this stuff. Same list as before. He might not know what's coming, but we're going to spend this four times. And this is going to be the flight that Cheech gets. 
Cheech, I'm going to reach out to you. You either get this labeled or blind, but you'll know the four that's in it. So cheers, buddy. First one is the Bardstown Discovery 3. I awesome love... pour. I love that pour. Oh, I love that pour so much. That's my favorite of that whole series. I don't know if they can beat that for me. Uh, Rated pour is so good. Wait, what? Uh, scratch that. You don't win that one twice. I'll spin again. Bard sound. Ooh. Yeah, Taylor Barrel Proof. There you go. Nice. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting battle right there. Yeah, Taylor Barrel Proof versus the Discovery 3 if he does it blind. Let's see what else is in there. And that Barrel Proof is from about 2019. A Will, Will it Purple Top. Top. There you go. All right. Last one, Cheech. Oh, he got the jackpot almost. William nice. Lee Weller. All right. There you go. And that one that I have is from uh, 2018. Very nice. Congrats, Cheech. Congratulations good to pour. Cheech. It's surprising, too. Man. Because it doesn't really drink like a Wheda for me. You sent that to us, I think, two different times. One to yep. try, then, like, at, uh, I think maybe when we hit 1,000 or whatever the case was. I think but, so. Yeah, Something it, like it, that. It surprised so. me. So... Next, we'll go with the Durrells, the Copper and Cast. We'll just go through the list as it's streaming through at the bottom of the screen. Yep, seven-year toasted guys. Nice, fancy, big old box. Ah, oh, oh, oh. There you go. Oh. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers John. I'll get this out to you. All right. Actually, then uh, tomorrow, we'll do know. Kelsey's. First, Jay Henry. Kelsey, which one is this going to be? The Jay Henry Fall or the uh, Ellie? Let's do let's do the uh, Fall release first, and then we'll do the Ellie after. All right. So for the Fall release of the Jay Henry, shout out, of course, to our friend Nancy. Looking forward to what she's been hyping about. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't miss. Oh, <laughs> Cheers, Mark, buddy. I'll get this. Congrats, out buddy. J. Yeah, Henry, Mark, if you Mark. haven't tried J. Henry before, I am actually really excited that you're going to get to try this. So <laughs> yes, then I'm that was the fall happen. release. Let's do the LE. And just an FYI, I believe this will be. Congrats, Richie Z. Richie, Richie Z. This will be the last. I think that's the first for us, too, correct. having his name pop up. I don't, I don't know if yeah. I've seen him pop up. Um, this will be the last time that Nancy will do the Ellie, if I remember right, too. So this is the last release that she's done. So, man, those have been hitters. I'm so glad you, I've gotten samples from you guys for those. It's really good, All man. Right. And then Katie and Ethan get to enjoy $25 worth of the delicious coffee coming from Drifting Drams at DriftingDrams.com. Check them out, everybody. Regardless if you win this, they just came out with a uh, bourbon barrel aged. Ah, Doug, Doug H. H. Doug H. Cheers, Doug H. But they did a bourbon coffee. barrel aged coffee, and it was so good that even Darrell would love it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out in a few weeks. Yep. And, uh, I'm going to put some of that coffee Man. to the test. If they can sway me, and I told them they can sell anybody. <laughs> yep. So congratulations to all of our all of our winners here tonight. Love sharing whiskey and coffee with everybody. Yep. Uh, and thank you to everybody else that contributed all night long and then has continued to contribute either with views, likes, Patreon, all the above. Spreading our name out over the last week to help us hit this milestone this week. You know, we were like a hair away and then started asking for people for help and they helped us get past the finish line and then a little bit more. So appreciate all of the love and support from all of the whiskey friends out there. And we'll continue to share out as well how much we appreciate you. Well, then. One last spin. Sure. I'm good with it. So, everybody, this will be a night cap. We'll do a little cheers on this one. But... This will be the last wheel spin of the night. And guys, keep an eye on chat. If anybody is um, 
is going after us, you know, and they promote that, we can throw it over to them. But I didn't see anything come through yet. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Either. <clears throat> Ooh, all right. Is it multi or maiden can oh. made in not tucky. Oh, okay. Made in not tucky. <laughs> Some MGP. It might be some MGP to close out for me, man. How can I not do some MGP? Let us know what you're going to have in chat, though, but the last pour of the night can't be from the state of Kentucky. Jeff, did you see how low my Chopper City yeah. pick was in that video? <laughs> you, dude, you demolished 40% did, of that. I did share it, though. I brought it to John's for a meetup. <laughs> Is that not the coolest? That's, that's oh, a good like water bottle. <laughs> Hey, oh, is that is that actually is sriracha tough. or is that just a water bottle? That's actually just a uh, a prop. But here's what my non tucky is. Oh man, look at those labels. They always have the coolest labels. Yeah, Devil's Tower. High rye bourbon whiskey, ninety nine proof. Yep. I think that's at my local. I've seen that label. Actually, fifty one percent ABV. I think that was oh. the. Uh, I think that was no. the percentage you were looking at. No, 99 proof. You're right. Correct. 99 proof. Oh, he was right. I should never doubt you, Darrell. <laughs> Darrell was on it. I couldn't right. see. I just seen a 99, and I'm like, that seems like backbone. maybe proof over something else. All right, let's see here. I'm going to do a backbone. Top dog, my MGP blend. That's what you're doing. Ooh, huh? that's different. Thompson, NBC. Wowza. Whiskey Wars Double Double from Gandy Road. I know... Jeff loves yeah, that. Yeah, double double. <laughs> He's, getting hooked to that. He's getting hooked to that mango note. Boiling trouble. Double, can double. you bring that with you, Jeff, so I can try that in a couple weeks? Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it. I'll definitely bring it. I got to get you guys samples anyway, actually. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to go with a, a more classic backbone here. So, this is one I got really? from Cork and Bottle, which really that location is now not there anymore in uh, Northern Kentucky, but. From 20, oh, 2000, 2008 eight. to 2019. Very wow. nice. It's the good era. Oh, man, this is my favorite era, of course. Thus, the perfect time to have it with both of you right now tonight. Hey, and a whiskey riff lounge glass. There we go. There we go. Nice. Man, that's actually pretty good. It's opened up a lot more. The first time I had it, I didn't really care for it, but that's actually pretty decent. So if you guys haven't tried this, High Rye Bourbon from Devil's Tower, which is Redwood Empire out of California, um, try it out. It's, uh, it's a really nice pour. Man, this one is so rye forward. It drives me nuts. Like the ten year oak has never come across on this one, and I was wondering—it's been so long since I had it—if it was still going to come across right forward. It's still right. Yeah, forward. that's awesome. It's pretty damn dark too. Oh, yeah, it tastes darker. It definitely tastes darker than it smells. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Ooh, yeah. NBC. yeah, I'm, I'm gonna join you. Man, that is that is mixing with the Lagavulin in a very very interesting <laughs> way. I will tell you that. Probably not in a good way. Gross. Oh Gross man, I just went the through. It's mixing. I just went through quite an adventure there. That was like going through all the terrains in Lord of the Rings all at once. Like there was <laughs> there was lava, there was green grass, <laughs> there was brown fields. That's crazy, dude. I am definitely gonna have to upload the video of you tasting that bit, that uh, smoke wagon so that we can just oh, have it to. We need play. that. Oh god. I made. Yeah. Have to do I gotta do not, we to do, do not it. need. We do not need that video. We do, dude. It's we do so need that funny. video. It's so funny. I think that's worth. I'm gonna have to have Jason falling. resend it to me because I don't know that I have it. No. Oh. You too. It's, looking. To that's it. better than Jason tripping on ECBP. <laughs> <laughs> I fell. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Oh God. But to witness it live. Dude, no, oh, dude. <laughs> oh, 
It's still great to witness it not live. <laughs> you just see Katie out of concern, like snap her head, like, what's going on? Ah, uh, good times, good times. Well, fellas, Kelsey is looking to get down to a birthday party here. Yep, I gotta go eat. <laughs> and, and eat. You never do dinner before. This is just like crazy to me, you know? I don't yeah. understand it, dude. Like, it just, I have to go eat. Also, I'm gonna probably, like, be wobbly. Don't don't be wobbly. Don't be wobbly. Be upright. <laughs> so everybody, thank you so much for joining tonight, celebrating with us. And we are looking forward to what we have planned in April. Gave a few previews out to everybody before this. But let's just cheers it and end this thing. Cheers. Cheers, fellas. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Happy birthday, Sam. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday, Sam. <clears throat> so everybody will catch you. On the next Whiskey Wednesday with Baker's Drinks. So come by here next Whiskey Wednesday. Jeff, just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey friends. And you say hello again. Oh, Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey friends. And you say hello again, oh Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey friends, and you say hello again. Oh man. So everybody, I just saw it up there, so I will just do this little extra innings. There's 49 people still watching. But I did go to check if anyone was going live, and uh Bad Axe Bourbon's Bad going Axe? live, and yeah, he's celebrating. He's celebrating some milestones too. So okay. go over to Bad Axe Bourbon, <laughs> let him know we sent you. More celebrations for tonight. He's saying spur of the moment. More celebrating. Can't help that. Cheers, everybody.